Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to compile Ogre on Visual Studio 2013. We are going to download the dependencies folder which uh, we, are, we are already on the um, repository. I'm going to clone it using Secure Shell. If you don't know how to set up the Secure Shell, you should be using the HTTPS. And now we are going to clone it. Uh, the our dependencies is very handy for for setting up uh, well our dependencies because everything is already set. Well, now I'm not going to wait until it's finished downloading because I have a slow internet connection and I don't want to keep you staring at my at the screen while it downloads. So I already have a, a working copy which I'm going to clone it from. So now I'm cloning from the from the other location. And there we go, much faster. Um, I think you'll thank me for that. Okay. <laughs> well, now uh, we are going to use CMake. We are going to tell it where the dependencies folder is and we are going to build it on the build folder. Uh, the build is usually a standard location. Uh, it's not necessary, you can choose another one. We're going to build for Visual Studio 12 and I, I highly recommend 2008 because it's much faster, but well, I'm going to show you 2013. Remember that Visual Studio 12 is 2013. Yes, it's confusing, I know. Well, how that's how life is. Uh, CXX flags, I'm going to add this slash MP so that it compiles uh, using multi price processor and uh, so that it builds uh, faster. Now I'm opening Visual Studio and let's hit build. There we go. Okay, it, now the dependencies are compiling. While it compiles, I'm going to download the Ogre repository if you already didn't do it. Also secure shell. Well, if you haven't already, this is a great time to do it so that you take, a pro take maximum effort from time. But well, uh, I'm not going to wait again. I already have the repository, so I'm not cloning. It. I'm not going to clone it from the internet because it's slow for me and compilation is probably going to finish before it finishes downloading. So now I have to wait. We are going to install it uh, later, and there is a install um, project on the left. As soon as it's finished, we are going to right click hit build and it's going to install it in a special folder. Uh, don't worry, this location is not an obscure path, it's actually inside the repository and the build folder. You can choose where to where to install it uh, on using CMake. Now we just have to wait until it finished compiling. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take very long. Visual Studio 2008 is much faster at this. Well, that's why I, I recommend it. But if you are for some reason constrained to the latest versions, well, uh, that, this is why I'm doing a video with uh, 2014. Don't forget to install. You have to install both uh, release and debug. You have to do this twice. Now, it's, if you do this correctly, you have in the build folder and over depths, and we're going to check that all the DLLs have been compiled, and the library is two. Yes, okay. You should be seeing something like this. Now we are going to build Ogre. Let's clone it. I remember I already have the uh, saved location so to speed things up. Oh, oh no, <laughs> wrong, sorry, wrong location. Let's try again. 
older, so there it goes. For Ogre, we are going to be using Unity Builds. I highly recommend Unity Builds unless you are a developer who is making small changes to multiple files because it forces a, a almost a full recompile. We are, go we are going to build Ogre, build location, we are going to leave it as it is. Okay, configure. Finish, yes, yes. Now it's going to tell me there is an error because it will tell me that it can't find the dependencies folder. That's okay, and we are going to choose to s s set it explicitly. Now here's the error, okay. Search, dep, okay, over dependencies tier, you, you see it. Now we are going to the dependencies folder. Build our depths and okay, we're going to paste that location and hit configure again. Like I was saying, Unity Builds is very important. Oh, okay, so it finished. Um, always remember to leave the advanced uh, checkbox on, otherwise, CMA can hide you important stuff. And uh, search, we're going to see all the plugins. For example, I don't need the BSP plugin so that it compiles faster, and I also don't need the portal scene manager. Also, the components uh, you can toggle them if you do what if you don't want them or you do. Uh, if you're trying this for the over for the first time, I recommend you to try everything and. Now the DirectX SDK, it should be something like that, it, uh, as I'm showing to you. And Unity Builds, we are going to enable it. And I'm going to leave the default of 50 folders per, per unit. And like it was saying, Unity Builds makes compilation much, much faster. So usually you want to leave it on. Uh, Generate and we're going to use Ogre and this will open the solution. It's compiling also, it's also creating the, the project for all the samples. You can disable it on CMake if you don't need them. Uh, we're going to set the sample browser as as the startup project uh, there it is set as startup project now it's bold and we want to build everything release and hit build okay now it's compiling uh, you're going to see those four files or five uh, I don't remember well um, those these are the unit builds units it's there are simple files that include everything so that uh, the compiler doesn't spend so much time uh, parsing stuff uh, every time it, it opens uh, every file now I'm not going to wait until uh, I'm going to skip this part uh, because it's going to compile. Ignore the few warnings that there are, that there are because well we are using the, the repository version so this is normal. And there are always a few warnings here and there. We support too many platforms and well uh, some compilers give warnings the others don't so well uh, eventually we, we clean them but if you are using the latest version from the repository this may happen it's very common now well uh, it's compiling and so like i said to visual studio 2008 is much faster at this uh, okay now our main is already compiled and now it's building the plugins and well see you at finish i'm back now well Everything is compiled, and as you can see, well, I just only waited to compile. I didn't do any any magic trick. Now, let's run the sample browser. I recommend to 
recommend to use the directory t9 render system it's a safe bet that it's going to work and there you go <coughs> sorry and well uh, that it is uh, there's something more I want to show you so I'm I'm going to show you how to change uh, with two versions let's go where the uh, over is and um, let's go to the workbench and by hitting ctrl s you can filter the branches the default branch uses the latest version the, the latest stable version you can toggle between the 2.0 and the 1.9 currently the default uh, branch is using one is going to be 1.10 uh, you can toggle uh, and you can toggle between each version in case you you want to change uh, or you want to use a different version of ogre uh, be advised that you have to recompile ogre if you have if you change between branches uh, i i think this should be obvious but well I'm just stating it. Well, this is everything, and uh, I hope you you understood how to compile over. And well, see you next time.